Mail Talk. Mally Cast. Mally. Ridiculous and Mally Cast. Owen and Mally Cast. BBB Mally Cast. Man Cast. Oh, Carmelin. Was that like DJ Khaled, DJ? <laughs> DJ Valley Cast. <laughs> that was created by someone named Maxid. DJ Valley Khaled Cast. And it's called the Low Effort Valley Cast Theme ba- Theme My Bad. Why low effort? Yeah, it sounded like there was a lot of effort put into yeah. that. There's a lot of choices. Synced up perfectly. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Olivia Sweet on the what's, podcast What's today. up, guys? Hi. Hi, Olivia. I feel so honored to be between two really funny, funny <gasps> people. <gasps> it's like, I don't belong here. <gasps> I don't belong here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you stop it, you sweet little... And you do belong, and you are funny, and you're, you're you got that residual "I'm not funny" stuff you used to do at Smosh. I'm not funny. Everyone I just want to. You know what I want to do? I want to put you in a cute jacket and sit you down. Here, we're gonna we're gonna reenact something that happened before you were here. Okay. It's like, hey, Steve. Yes, Olivia is coming to be on the podcast. What did you say? You said I love. Oh yeah, I said so many things. You I said, said I very love nice cats. Th- That's my favorite. I movie. love carrots. I love carrots and cats. Cats and carrots. No, I said. She's so funny. She's so lovely. I mean, you know, whatever. I'm oh, paraphrasing, but I said very nice things. Yeah. Thank you. I do like you a lot, Olivia. I think really? you're very sweet, very funny, very, uh, all the things, all nice That's things. That's really nice. Yeah. Thank you're great. You. I don't, I think I'm misunderstood sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah. I don't get that. But I will say what I do get is, is that you've always been a sweet lady to me and you've always been sweet and welcoming and awesome and it is an absolute pleasure to finally have you here wow that actually touched my heart like a handprint on my heart good I felt mm. it. you know Thank that's you actually guys. that's how they get you back to life sometimes they put their whole hand on your I heart i think i'm having a heart attack right until now. you wake up <laughs> oh, wow thank you guys yeah thanks for coming can and i thank compliment you, for being you guys yeah go ahead sure. okay i won't stop you i think you guys are just the best humans in town you guys wow. have stayed so true to yourselves and you guys have the best I don't know. You guys are just, you guys have a really strong foundation, and that's just good for you. Aww. Well, you know, they well, say. Well, thank you for watching the Valleycast. That's it. Um, it thank you for episode. coming. Thank thank you. You. Thanks for the million very dollars. Sweet <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> thank you. And that's all going to be in traveler's checks. Um, that's very sweet of you, Olivia. Now I'm going to segue on to something else because I can't take a compliment. Um, context for who Olivia is and like our history and stuff. So, Olivia is part of Smosh. Still, do is it considered still Smosh? I think so. You're still there. It's still called Smosh. Should I text Ian. Hey, yeah, am I still, I still part of this? <laughs> um, but she started way before Smosh. She was part of the new cast, but she was part of that. Where did you? How did you land into this entertainment industry? Um, well, I was a very shy, shy child, and um, my mom asked me if we heard a radio ad, and she was like, "Do you want to try doing this?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, sure." Oh, sentimental music. Very um, sentimental. And I just loved um, Disney Channel so much. And I wanted to be Hilary Duff, like Lizzie McGuire, so badly. I was like, yeah, let's do this acting thing. Girl, I get that because when I was your age, when you were that age, but I was another age, which was younger than your age because I'm a little older than you, uh-huh. my Hilary Duff was the the return of the Mickey Mouse Club with JT yeah. and, and Britney, Britney Spears. Spears and all them. I watched them singing and dancing. I was like, I want that. But I didn't live in Florida where they made all those kids work real hard. So, Did you guys see what happened to the fat kid from Mighty Ducks? No. No. He uh, he's not dead, but oh. he's like he got arrested for trying to steal some shit, and he's like on meth. No, are you talking donkey lips? Not from... donkey lips. No, no, no. Wait, was there another fat kid in Mighty Ducks? <laughs> Whoops. I think there was a couple fat kids in. Um, they were all fat. Yeah, they were all fat. <laughs> what if they were? Did you guys see that movie, The Fatty Ducks? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it really was. Quack! Oh, quack! Now I'm gonna quack on the head. And then the ice cracks. Crack! 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 crack, crack. <laughs> oh, Goldberg. 
Goldberg. No That's way. Goldberg? I don't believe that. Is that yes, Goldberg? Yes, it is. Meth is oh. a hell of a drug, ladies no. and gentlemen. Don't do it. Oh, no. He Sorry almost we changed races. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> something tells me he won't be asked to be in the remake that they're wow. doing for Disney+. Plus. Uh, that's just me. But you know who is? Gordon Bombay himself. Who's and that? Emilio Estevez. That's Emilio Estevez. Oh, that's Gordon character. Bombay? Okay, got it. I don't remember. <laughs> guys, this was like not my time. I don't understand what you guys are talking Do about. Do you know who Emilio Estevez is? Yeah, that's no. probably okay. I mean, I've heard of the name. Is he like, um, is he Zorro? That'd be Antonio Banderas. That is Antonio Banderas. Emilio Estevez, surprisingly for you, is... Charlie Sheen's brother, yeah, and Martin Sheen's son. Wait, wait, wait. Then why, why is his last name not yeah. Sheen? Yeah, I, what if it was a they? I think Emilio Family. might have taken the mother's name, and Charlie took the father's name. I believe. Or oh, Alec like Baldwin also. Alec Baldwin is Emilio Estevez. Yeah. What? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Who are all these men you guys are talking about that are related to each other? This Charlie is Charlie Sheen and Emilio Estevez are actually Alec. brothers. Okay, and Alec Baldwin is not. Is but he them. does have brothers that are other Baldwin oh, brothers. Oh, yes. Yes. Many of them, especially Stephen Baldwin who is in the Polly Shore hit Biodome. Whose daughter is Haley Bieber who married Justin Bieber. Did Wait, you? I didn't know oh, that. That's is that true. real? That's what? true. Yes. Whoa. See, so we're talking about our generational yeah. gaps here. Olivia. I know, I get it. I get gaps. old people talk. This Here's a photo crazy. of Emilio Estevez. Motherfucker. Well, were you about to show the there it is. Goldberg again? Mm -hmm. God damn it, you what piece you, of shit you assholes. Oh, you're so old, you don't even know how to use technology. God, this help me out here. Help me turn a Word document into a PDF. Oh my God, wait, which one's Charlie Sheen? That one. Oh. oh. You, I can't see what you're pointing at. I'm sorry. And neither Joe, can you don't anybody watching. Uh, okay, so Olivia, you yeah. uh, you like Hillary Duff, and you're Love like, Hillary I'm gonna Duff. try to be yeah. Hillary Duff. Yeah. Then I went to this um, acting class, and I really, I don't, I don't know. I broke out of my shell, and that was my favorite thing was to act and um, do funny things. You're LA based at this time. L yes. Uh, we lived in Arcadia. Um, Arcadia was one of those <laughs> settings in a bunch of movies for me growing up in yeah. Montana, really? where it'd be like Arcadia, or uh, where was the Bill and Ted set? Oh. San Dimas. San Dimas. It all sounded fake to me, and it sounded yeah. like Fantasyland. And then I moved here, and I was like, Wait a minute! It's real. It's filled with Asian people too. <laughs> it sounds like the kind of that? place where you can go Land. and just if you've got a quarter, you'll have a great time. Yeah, you'll. Yes, yes, that's true. Arcadia is. If you've never been to Arcadia, you just have to go because. It's basically like China. I, like, I grew up with... Good food? Amazing Chinese really? food. Good. Amazing Chinese food. And I grew up with mostly Asian kids. So, huh. and, and because I was acting and dancing so much, I was kind of like the weird kid because nobody was really in the arts at my school. Oh. And they were all about going to after school, taking SAT prep classes. And oh, okay. So, so you're you were the about, class clown. Sort I was kind of like, what are you you're doing? You're talking about forgive me the stereotypical version of yes like what people make fun of like oh they all they all know they're all good at math and they all go to school and tiger moms and all yes, that stuff and i'm and and honestly that's how it was like and my, my all of my friends even i went to sat prep and but it was it was all about academics but you were like fuck that shit i, I gotta was, be an actress i know but i was still trying to like oh, be a were. part of the piece the cool people were the nerds yeah. the cool people were in all the ap classes and um, and I remember I, I, I took an AP class and this girl, she looked at me and she was like, Olivia, I think you're in the wrong class. Oh, hurtful. <laughs> it was like really mean because I, I just didn't like. Old smart Beth. They were like the cool, smart people that were going to go to, you know, UCLA and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so I started acting and I really, really loved it. And then um, after high school, I went to community college trying to figure out like what I was going to do with my life. I was a communications major. Um, and then I found Me this. too. High five. Hell yeah. We love to communicate. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, me you and my friends. You don't understand because you weren't a communication I major. don't yeah. understand. So you don't know what we're saying because you can't communicate. You can't, you I don't understand. Hmm. So, and I was taking acting class at that time. And some people in my acting class, you know, Jay Walker. Mm -hmm. and um, Lovely and boy. Shout out to Jay Walker. We discovered this app called But not jaywalkers. Bad people. Horrible people. You should go to prison if you jaywalk. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. It's yeah. a crime. Yeah, it's... And it's not victimless. No, mm -hmm. <laughs> there are a lot of victims. <laughs> Absolutely. And... Um, We're all victims. But Jay Walker, my friend Jay Walker, super funny, super talented. We discovered this app called Vine along with some other classmates. And then it just came out. There were six second little videos. And we're like, hey, we have, we're actors. We don't really have 
much to do, so let's start making our own content instead of waiting for oh, stuff to happen. So that smart. was your creative you. outlet. It was yeah. fine. Yeah. And for me, I that was when I started uh, going to improv classes, um, and I, I, fa- I realized I love comedy, and so I used Vine as a vehicle for me to kind of express my comedic voice. Wow. Um, Very refreshing for me to hear you say that because that's what I was saying about YouTube when YouTube came out back in the day. And that's kind of, I fell into that. And when Luke and I started doing Bratz and Beretta, the thing that I kept saying to people was, why wait for anybody to tell you (laughs) that you're good enough? Why wait for the next audition when you can just make it all yourself? And quite honestly, you're the first person that I've heard say that about Vine. Everybody else I found like, they found Vine and just started screwing around, but it sounded like you had an agenda. And I don't think a lot of people started out with an agenda of, I'm gonna make my my comedic and acting print because I wanna be an actress. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really remember. I just, we were just all kind of fucking around, you know? Mm-hmm. But we realized that we can use this to benefit our careers maybe yeah. and we were having so much fun doing it this was but that's what mattered more was that you were having fun while we were, were having so it. much fun it yeah. was so weird we all met up in the valley on ventura and we would just like meet these maybe this is how youtube was like too like you meet brand new people on this platform and you become friends and you're yeah. like let's fucking that's make a thing yeah. definitely how it started for sure the whole collaboration culture it was so cool yeah. and you don't have like we were all traditional yeah and we were all just traditional actors and all of a sudden we got to write and produce and do our own things even if it was six seconds and i remember one night after my dance recital all my vine friends came to watch me and we hung out at this we were at little tokyo in downtown la love it we were there for about five hours trying to shoot a vine because (laughs) because you cared because we cared so much and there was no edit so it was like a one-shot deal and we were just there like who cares about the time like it's we were just having so much fun and um yeah so that isn't that kind of the essence of what makes something work i feel like when everyone involved is talented to a degree Mm -hmm. and then everyone's having fun yeah you could somehow capture that for other people to see i think that's where entertainment Mm -hmm. derives well and it sounds like they're that common goal like we talk about it here at valley folk and stuff whatever that north star is yeah to kiss a seal to kiss a seal uh, from the grave kiss from a rose and a seal from the grave. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that okay. totally made seven, sense. Okay. Seven okay. steps too far. Yeah. No, um, I get it. I'm here. So you do that and you start to get traction. Yeah. And how, what was that like? Um, It was kind of cool because I'm like, wow, people are, strangers around the world are, you know, liking this. And it was really, really awesome. And I didn't expect it. And that was really fun. And then it got, because it became so big, every upload mattered so much. And then it kind of took the fun out of it. Mm -hmm. And it was more like, this is. And then that collaboration became like. Competitive. uh, Competitive and almost kind of like a currency. Because what what was it on Vine? Like you could feature somebody or you could tag or tag, I don't know or yeah somehow it became share like somebody's that. vine mm-hmm. and it was a big deal to get somebody bigger to do it and then people started not doing it or charging for it Yeah that's for true it. yeah yeah you ha- it's like a retweet almost yeah. I remember that and you know there were groups and clicks that started to form and new people came on which were so they were amazing and then yeah and it was more of a click and to be a part of this group and I remember I was part of two groups I was part of the mainstream vine like people who lived at 1600 vine and I was also friends with People like Courtney and um, more alt, you know, alt vine, alt vine people, yeah. and like, and so I was like in between both, and they like Larry hanging out with these people. Ooh. I'm like, oh, these people it got are gross. Cool. It got, got gross. Yeah, and I was like, uh, and like I was high school. And I was so young. I was, I think I was literally 18. high school. <laughs> yeah, it was literally high yeah. school. Yeah. yeah. And I remember I was 18. I was the youngest out of all these people, and I was like, whoa, this is so weird yeah. for me. And then um, all that drama probably fucked it up too. Yeah, and I kind of stopped doing it. I don't know. Oh, well, I stopped doing it because um, so Jason Nash um, mm-hmm. referred me to this casting woman, Leslie Wolf. And shout she, out to Leslie Wolf. Shout out to Leslie Wolf. And she, um, I went to this Smosh audition and to be honest with you, I um, left, almost left the room because it was so packed and I was like, it's Whoa. And I still had that mindset There's a lot of, of names there too is what I heard. There's yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I remember that. And so I was like, you know, there was still 
quite frankly, I felt like, oh, it's YouTube, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. and I didn't watch YouTube a lot, so I had this, you know, bad connotation to yeah. it. Vine were the cool kids. Yeah. They were the young, cool, hot kids. Yeah. And then so I was like, I don't need to stick around for this. So as I was about to leave, Leslie Wolf came out and she was like, hey, please stay. Like, come on, like just 20 more, just Whoa. stay. And I was like, all right, cool. And then she, I was in the room and she's like, do you have three characters prepared? And <laughs> SNL audition. Yeah. And I literally said, I lied. I didn't have anything prepared because like I said, we were just these, v I, I'm, I don't have any characters, you know? And then I just like bullshitted my way which is not how I how I would do things now, you know. <laughs> I was so stupid. But it so was like stupid. a fir was this one of your first kind of auditions or no, something? No, it or? wasn't. It was one of those auditions that I just didn't care. You yeah, know? Where you, but you go anyway. But those are the best ones. Anyway. Those are the ones you accidentally. I land. know. It's like it's true. I went in and forgot lines during commercial auditions to the point where I one time didn't even speak. Yeah. And they went, okay, uh, you say the line, and they pointed to the other guy. I got the call back. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. I it was so no no stakes at all. And um, she was like, hey, can you what what scene do you want to do? I didn't even know what scene we were doing. I said, yeah, the one where they're sitting in front of the TV. <laughs> <laughs> what made no sense? What was I saying? It was just literally gibberish, and and somehow I they they it was like a four callback type of situation. Wow, they must have just loved the back, how they natural. Were just like, wow, she's like a uh, she's like a she's like an Asian Andy Kaufman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's uh, Asian Kaufman. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Uh, yeah, they were like, oh, she's Asian, and uh, she's kind of, she has no idea. Maybe this is they performance were for art, you know? Um, yeah. I don't know what they were looking for. Maybe but diversity. Maybe, maybe diversity. It, yeah. Maybe they're like, she's kind of um, nuts. And that's yeah. what, we, I don't know. Well, obviously and you've got it. Yeah, you got it. You're funny. Yeah. You're funny. I, I don't think so at all because I'm surrounded by people like you guys who are fucking hilarious and I'm just like, oh, I'm going to go back home. Yeah, but you got to <laughs> listen to the people who you say are hilarious when they say you're hilarious. Yeah. Because why? Um, I have no reason to say that. I'm, I'm like sweating. But I'm saying <laughs> the it. Compliments you're wearing have to three just... suit jackets. Why? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is my look. Um, but and then, and then joining Smosh and meeting Joe. I remember I, meeting Joe at a Starbucks um, before the holidays. Is that what we did? We sat down and met? Yeah. I don't remember that. <laughs> what the hell? It was the best well, day of my meth. life. <laughs> he was on meth? Um, at the time, yes. He was a mighty duck. Yes, he was. <laughs> Quack! <laughs> what if I was just quacking when you sat down? I would have been like, this is so weird. You would have been in. like, he's like an Asian Andy Kaufman. <laughs> yeah, he's just like me. He's just like me. Uh, yeah. um, and then you joined Smosh? And, and then I joined Smosh, and it was so weird. We're trying to unionize! We are trying to get weird! We start small, but everybody at the Swiss Milk Factory are lesbians, yeah. <laughs> Sign the petition. Sign, sign, buy milk and be lesbian. This has been a Walmart ad. <laughs> and I was your creative director you for You were, a while. and you were the best person. Thank and, you. Um, Thank you. Nobody could have done that like you. Um, it's because I barely did it, and I don't know what That's I was true. doing. That's not true. Well, you also... You basically gained like three kids. Like we were your, you had your kids at home, and then we were there, and you kind of had to figure. It was a. Out it us. was a. We were all figuring it out together, and uh, it was it was an interesting scenario. But we made a lot of cool stuff. I'm I thank you for dealing with me and my learning. Then I thought you guys were great. There was growing pains, of course, but we got through it. and We made a bunch of. A I bunch learned of a shit. lot from you. Yeah. Aww. And how to be a leader, but at the same time be so compassionate. And mm -hmm. yeah, and that's something mm -hmm. I learned from you. Uh, uh, that's very sweet. So, question follow up with the Vine World. Yeah. Are you on Bite? And are you going to do it, or what do you is feel, it? or do you I think know. it's gross? It's I not have a good. TikTok it's too. not great. What is this? They're not great. Why are there two other apps that I have to? I know. It feels like a chore, right? You're gonna yes. get left down the dust if you don't do it. It's just different because, like, when when I was 18, I had nothing to do. You know what I mean? I was pretty bored. Yeah. So like. So you could have like three different. I know what you're saying. Platforms. Like when I saw it, and I wasn't a big Viner, but I appreciated it just as much as you did. I was not a big Viner, we but just, I used it. We used it. Green screen rehearsals, action! Throw him the gun! Slow mo explosion! Green screen rehearsal, take two. Go! Run! 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 Duck! Flip! All right, green screen rehearsal for running. Go! Okay, now jump and land. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! I don't want to fuck you! Have a nice day. But 
I was really interested to hear what a former Viner's thoughts on it coming back would be. And I get what you're saying because I think the same thing. I'm like, it's just more crap I got to do. What's Bite? Bite it's, is Vine. It's Vine. Stop. Yeah. It's yeah. six second loops. Now I have to think about being funny again. Like, this is something <laughs> I, I know. don't like. And the pressure's on. Yeah. I just like, I oh, don't so know. You didn't know. You didn't know. Yeah, it's... No, Bite is Vine? Bite is, I'm pretty sure, I, you could look it up I'll while I say up. it, I'm pretty sure it's one of the creators of Vine went off after selling it and made it again. Oh, guys, I had to go. I got to sign up for but this app. I got to go back to work. <laughs> but it's very much a TikTok user experience as opposed to a Vine user experience. So it's still the loops, but it's kind of like the swipe up to the next video, the search function's no good. Isn't that just uh, like TikTok? Yes. Though? It says two years after Vine's co-founder, Dom Hoffman announced he was building a successor to the short form video app. Today, Byte makes its debut on iOS and Android. Is, oh, you guys have the, uh, you guys have an account? I downloaded it. Yeah, you it, wanna yeah. see it? Here, I'll show it to but you. But it's, think TikTok, but think of it with the Vine Loops. Loops. That's it. It's still six seconds. It's all you can do. Got it. Vine poops. Is it funny? Are there fun creators I don't know yet. I haven't jumped in. I don't know. It's hard to navigate. It feels like... It's like... Yes. It's like Vine... It's like when Vine started. So it's like not... It's not very feature heavy. You don't even have a profile, really. You can't see how many people are following you. It's like TikTok, but short TikTok. It's... Yeah, they should they should differentiate it. I think a, a bit more if they want it to turn into something. This is stressing me out. I know it <laughs> stresses because me out. Because I'm like thinking about certain like bits I could do on there, and then at the same time I'm like, oh, I don't want to well, do, do it. Miss? What are you doing with TikTok? Yeah, <sighs> are you having fun with it? I'm having fun. I, I I I've been I was doing TikToks with Courtney on set the other day, and that was really fun. Um, yeah, just not doing it like trying to make money or trying yeah. to be famous on on there that's yeah but then again you start looking at your your likes and your parts Stupid or whatever numbers, and you're false like false validation bullshit i know but it, it makes you feel pressure right like yeah. i gotta i guess i gotta make more uh, yeah but don't do it if unless you want to exactly i don't want to do anything i'm fucking yeah. lazy yeah <laughs> yeah but the thing is is you have to do something i know you have to mm-hmm. Ooh, a follow-up question for yeah. you again we're like so we got the vines six seconds we got youtube we got all this stuff that we're still doing and you're pretty i see that you're active on instagram you'll make little comedy videos on there what a condescending little uh mm, word little i comedy use little little, little comedy little, video. little 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 but you said you wanted to be an act an actor like mm-hmm. more traditional stuff are yeah. you chasing that are you finding um, um you know after you know smosh has mm-hmm. really made me realize that i like to write and i like to produce awesome and you know there was we had that conversation yourself yeah yeah, like there was that conversation of, I want to be an actor, right? But at the same time, I also want my stories to be told. I don't want to have a script given to me. I want to make my, that's the whole Vine YouTube world. It introduced me to just making your shit by yourself or mm-hmm. with your friends, you know? And like, just, I am the most impatient person. So waiting for something is just not in my world anymore. You know, yeah. I used to, and now I'm just like, I'm just going to go do my own thing, you know? And that's what Smosh has really taught me is to like, I can write and I can have great ideas and they sometimes will suck and then sometimes they'll be great. And just like trying that out. Ooh, it's such a good lesson. Sometimes they'll suck is so, yeah, something I got to remind myself all the freaking time. Yeah. It, the fear still keeps me sometimes it always, from yeah. doing, yep. you know? Oh shit! Nobody's gonna like it. Yeah. Oh, it's not gonna be up to. But you can't. You can't lose the fun. Yeah, you can't oh, lose the fun, and you have to find the fun. Mm-hmm. The fun is where it makes it less of a job and yeah. something you want to do every day. Yeah, I love the. I love the idea that sparks in my head, and then I'm like, okay, how? Who can I have to come and help me make this? Mm-hmm. And it's gonna be super skeleton and super weird, and like, there's not gonna be like a traditional set it's gonna be me making it at the end of the day when I see the finished product even if it's shit I, at least I did it and it's that your feeling, shit it's my shit mm-hmm. you know and like even if it stinks it's mine and I made it and I think that's something that I can be proud of you I know? love that that's you really can't good. don't lose that yeah gotta hang on to that yeah uh, I got a pitch for you, a creative yeah. pitch. Uh-huh. Um, I told Steve I was gonna pitch this to you on the podcast so I just posted this thing online I'll play it for you um, it's a uh, it's a song that helps you remember all fifty states um, in alphabetical order. 
So I want to play this for you. And then all I wanna, you have to do is hear it once, and you'll never forget it. You'll know all the states. Wait, you made this song? Yeah. Maybe. Holy shit! Let's see if I can put this up here real quick. Oh yeah, I did it, y'all. I came up with the perfect mnemonic device to help you ace that U.S. geography test. Check it. I got a little thing. It's really easy to do. Remembering the names of states will be so easy for you. Alabama to Wyoming and the states in between. Fifty names inside your brain. They're alphabetical too. Ah ah ah, the fuck. Hi I I it Kayla. Na 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 nooper stub dub 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 w ah 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 at kuku da fuck hi i i it kala na 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 nooper stub dub 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 w okay <laughs> so now you know all the states forever i want to turn this Repeat into a... it right now yeah what's the song go uh, 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 uh. See, it works. <laughs> That's and uh, W too. <laughs> okay, so my pitch for the video that I want to do, and I would love to collab with you if you want to. This would be a Valley Folk video. I want to take that. I want to produce it like a kid show, probably all on a white site. Same start as that. I'll have a couple kids around, maybe my own. Maybe we'll hire some. I'll be like, hey, kids, I got this idea, blah, blah. And they'll be like, okay. And then I'll sing that, and they'll go, what? Yeah, you know? they should just be confused. Yeah, they'll be like, I. I'm I'm more confused now, and I go shut up, because you weren't <laughs> listening. But here's the thing: I also created a dance for it oh, because people to say help you remember. body movements help yes. you remember things. Would you create a dance for this? A yes. really stupid <gasps> dance, and you come in and you teach me and the kids the dance, and then we also we turn this into a big old thing. Yep. I'm down. Yeah. I'm Wonderful. down. I also have no rhythm, so great. it's going to be great. <laughs> great. I don't think it needs rhythm. It, Can it, me and Keith do it together? Yes, 100%. I want to, <gasps> oh, yes, that'd bring, be great. Please, please do it. I'm going to give it to y'all. I'm okay, hiring you now. Okay, we're doing it. Okay, I'm and down. And I want it just, my only creative direction is that it shouldn't make sense with the words. It's oh, okay. Just, just a dance. Think of it as a TikTok dance this and we're going to make a, a trend <gasps> or some shit. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone do the, the yeah. what do you what would you call it? I, what is it called? The states. Everyone do the states dance. The states dance. Do the fitting. Hey, do the, state the, the states dance. Do the states dance. Dude, I love that. I hate it. <laughs> when are I we thinking it. about making this? Uh, as soon as you have a dance ready, we'll do it. Give me the song too. Okay, I'll send you the song. Please send me the song. You're never getting the song back. Yeah. The states song. You're just gonna yeah. give her the song, dance. and you're yeah. never gonna get back. Yeah. 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 So I get to yeah. This is my song. first uh, debut of choreography for the states dance. Are you excited about it? So excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna make no sense. See, we're bringing back a full circle. It's this is we're collabing. Um, we're collabing. Well, I'm glad we caught up to speed, and now we're kind of like where you at, and where you and how you feeling and shit, and how and where you at. Where I'm. Where we you know at? where you at. Where you at? Well, I know where you at. She three sports jackets deep. You don't care where I'm at, but I'll tell you where you at. Okay. And I'm glad where you at, mm-hmm. and I'm glad you're here. Where I'm you so at. happy I'm here. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the ad read portion of the podcast. We're doing things a little bit different today again because we're ballers. You know what? My wife, she has a dirty mouth. And that's why she stole my Quip toothbrush. That is the personalized story that I'm going to begin this ad read with. Quip, makers of the Quip electric toothbrush, wants you to know that one single discovery that matters most for your dental health care is simply this. That if you have good habits, you are good. Seriously, my wife stole my Quip toothbrush. Don't worry, we're okay. Good habits means brushing for two minutes, twice a day, and flossing regularly, no matter what brand you use. Quip makes that simple. Starting with an electric toothbrush, refillable floss, and anti-cavity toothpaste. Quip's electric brush has sensitive sonic vibrations with a built-in timer and 30-second pulses to guide a full and even clean. The Quip floss dispenser comes with pre-marked string to help you use... Just enough, just enough. Plus, Quip delivers fresh brush heads, floss, and toothpaste refills to your door every three months with free shipping. So your routine is always right. My wife has a dirty mouth, but it's clean now that she has Quip. Join over three million healthy mouths and get Quip today, starting at $25. And if you go to getquip.com slash valley right now, you'll get your first refill free. That's your first refill free at getquip.com slash valley. Getquip.com slash valley. Getquip.com slash valley. Quip. 
the Good Habits Company. Thank you, Quip. Ooh, now that you got this clean smile, let's make it a better smile. Let's talk about Candid Co. Are you unhappy with your smile? Tired of feeling self-conscious in photos? Why not make this the year you straighten your teeth with Candid? Candid delivers clear aligners directly to you and straightens your teeth for 65% less than braces. Unlike braces, Candid clear aligners are comfortable, removable, and totally invisible, so you can transform your smile without anyone noticing a thing. That's the crappy thing about braces, right? They're just there. You can't move them. You never have to set foot in a doctor's office or waiting room. Your treatment is prescribed remotely by a licensed orthodontist and Candid delivers everything you need. Right to your door. Right to your door. It's right to your door. Unlike other companies, Candid only works with orthodontists, never general dentists. That's gross. That means your treatment will be designed by an expert in tooth movement. I took that class in college, tooth movement. Tried to meet girls. With 20 years of experience on average for every tooth movement expert. Looking ahead to wedding season or a special event with Candid, the average treatment length is just six months. Just six months. Just six months. And you'll start seeing results way before then. Learn more about Candid's process and get a complimentary 3D scan of your teeth at a Candid studio near you. It's the simplest, freest way to get started. And it's like you're living in the future. Just six months. It's just six months. So, are you ready to take the first step towards straighter teeth? For a limited time, you can get started with $75 off by using code valleycast at candidco.com. Slash ValleyCast. CandidCode.com Slash ValleyCast Using the code ValleyCast. That's CandidCode.com Slash ValleyCast. Use code ValleyCast for $75 off. Thank you. CandidCode.com Slash ValleyCast. Code ValleyCast. Let's talk about Box of Awesome. Box of Awesome is like getting Christmas every single month of the year. It's great. This winter, start a new routine to upgrade your everyday life with a monthly box of awesome from Bespoke Post. You know what? Not just winter. Do it any season. Any season. This could be a not updated copy since we're going into spring, y'all. Whether you're looking to commemorate an occasion with a champagne saber or toast perfectly aged winter or spring cocktails, Box of Awesome has you covered. From style and grooming goods to barware, cooking tools, and outdoor gear, Box of Awesome has carefully built collections for every part of your life. Like the Refresh Box, one that I liked. It's a little travel case that comes with a facial scrub and some conditioner and shampoo and it's the type of thing that makes you not have to use the crappy things in a hotel when you're traveling there's also the forge box which is a knife and that's cool so here we go everybody to get started take the quiz at boxofawesome.com your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome for you they release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. Different categories, yeah. It's free to sign up and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. Each box costs only 45 bucks, but has over $70 worth of gear inside. Yeah! Box of awesome! Box of rad! Box of good! No, no, it's box of awesome! Yeah! Get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code VALLEYCAST at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, code VALLEYCAST. 
for 20% off your first box. Back to our show. So I wanted to ask you, since we were talking a little bit about 1917, because you and I bumped into each other at the premiere. So jealous. Humble I have I, have I have a pitch really quick. Okay. Okay. So this is after the movie 1917, right? Okay. All right. So what if we made a sketch of 2017 and all the things that happened in oh, 2017? Oh, that's so funny. And Without, you know the idea. It's one shot? It's one shot. And we keep moving forward. That's so funny. And what if it was, because the whole movie is one shot moving forward yeah. to, to a destination, right? Yeah. So what if 2017, what destination are we going to and the things that happen in between like maybe a, a Bruno Mars song in the middle yeah. of it and and those skateboards those bo- those boards that were really popular in 2017 yeah. are you yeah. talking about those hoverboards hoverboards yeah and then all the things that happen and then all the you know adversities we all face right, here, okay I've got an idea okay. what if it's just like it's the person getting up and getting ready to go somewhere uh-huh. and then it's like 30 minutes in traffic oh my god and it's just them sitting in the car for 30 minutes no cut you're an asshole and then <laughs> and then and then they get to like whatever intelligentsia or some dumb shit some hipster shit and the lead is Zac Efron in 17 again yes perfect oh there my we god go. oh no I'll just have I'll just no. have to DM him yeah Jesus. you know you know him right oh yeah we follow Wait, each why other are you, why are you what's happening I looked up I looked I looked up most important events from 2017 so we would have talking points. And this is <laughs> this fucking abcnews.com. I'm just going to go in order. Okay. Okay. Not biased. Here we go. Trump's first year in White House. Oh. Ooh. The Russia investigation. <sighs> London high rise fire. Okay. Hurricane onslaught. Las Vegas mass shooting. Ooh. Sexual misconduct allegations. Ooh. North Korea weapons testing. NFL players protest during national anthem. Wow, what a year. And that's wow. all that they did. Just that's it. Wow. And hoverboards. <laughs> and hoverboards yeah, and, and Bruno hoverboard. Mars. So the and whole Bruno thing Mars. should be you probably said it when I was looking up shit, but the the person should just be on the hoverboard the whole time. Yeah, moving that's forward. Good. Yeah. That's good. And then yeah. they just eat shit at the end. Yeah. <laughs> But it's got to be whatever someone would do in the day in the in the day a oh. day in the life of 2017. Yeah, Man, 2017. Yeah. Wow, that's sucked. really good. Wash my hands of that shit. Yeah, Jesus. Jesus. Good God. I forgot the Vegas thing happened in 2017. A lot of things. That well, was so much 20, has happened. It felt like it was like a couple only a year. Yeah, ago. it really did. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Um, it's because shit like that keeps. So you guys happening. loved it. So that yeah, we can we can. Gush, oh, 19, we can 19, gush over movies now. Let's um, gush. Well, I I was surprised. I'm surprised. I was surprised when we were talking about movies out there that you had not seen Cats. Yeah, I mean, like, listen, it's not a movie that I would go see. It's not on your radar. Not at all. But you're a so dancer. You know, yeah, but come, like, it just seems so. I feel like there's a lot of movies that I need to see that I haven't seen yet, and that one is just not one. It's not on your li- not it's on not e- list. It's not on your radar at all. I watched The Lion King for the first time. And? You did it, huh? I loved did it. Did you? You're wow. the only person. Well, that's for well, that's because I, I never mean... watched Lion King before. Oh. That was my first time watching Lion King. Wait, wait, wait. You watched the new one? Yeah. Or the old one? The new one. I've oh. never seen the old one. You need so to that's see your the first old experience? one, and then you'll hate the new one. <laughs> yeah, and I, I don't know. It. I cried I the entire time. Wow. Wow. What? You guys didn't like it? What are you talking about? Well, that people was... hate that movie. Grew up with the what? original Lion King, which is a goddamn masterpiece. And filled with light and love. And, and love and heart. Joyous. Isn't this so good, too? I mean, it's mm. just, it's kind of emotionless. What? I felt all the, what are you, what? Are you crazy? Well, but wow. but they're surface level emotions, you know? Mm. Like, they're, they're surface level meant to make you feel emotions. But when you look behind the curtain, you're just like, these are just ones and zeros. These are just digital boys that just what? look uncanny valley. Like, like animals don't do this. Animals don't make expressions like this. That's very strange. Yeah, but the okay. Oh, okay, so you're saying it wasn't a, it wasn't fake enough. It was it was in that weird I'm just space saying bordering it was, on too real. It was it took like you out of it. Uncanny Valley, yeah. but also like Uncanny Im- Savannah. But also like I felt like the emotion, like because I mean, look, the the animated Lion King is just like pure joy. Mm-hmm. This was pure joy. For yeah, me. Wow. I I wonder if it's because you know it's an interesting experiment because it's like. Because the remake of The Lion King, the CGI thing we're talking about, it 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 is basically just like a shot for shot remake of the animated Lion King, except it's like photorealistic savanna, you know, Africa mm-hmm. animals. And so 
I love that. At its core, it's still replicating something that was a, a masterpiece. So if you hadn't seen the masterpiece, mm-hmm. but you saw what's based off the masterpiece, then for all intents and you're purposes, not you're not tainted. You don't even yeah. know what's out there. Yeah. So you're just seeing this facsimile of this beautiful thing. It's like seeing a copy of the Mona Lisa. You're yeah. like, Cool. That's I guess that's the Mona Lisa, but it's like, but actually, it's not. But as so, as somebody that really enjoyed the Jungle Book remake, which had the same technology with the same director, why did that one work in your estimation, but Lion King didn't? People like the Jungle Book is great. I've never I, seen it. I think it's because the Jungle Book is is different enough from the Jungle Book animated movie. Like there's there's differences. But the uncanny valleyness of it didn't get to you. No, because. I guess I mean I don't I guess it's because what what makes Lion King the original one work so well is the the perfect blend of music and animation mm-hmm. and the music in this new one was just kind of like felt soulless dude that me. was my problem with the Aladdin did you see the Aladdin oh, same with Aladdin no. yeah. well that one just looked cheap it's, it's bad cheap and in the all the the songs were like karaoke versions of yeah. the, the previous songs and they just weren't good the big guy didn't like them. I don't want to yeah. like them. I don't know, but it did make a lot of money, but critically not. Mm-hmm. People didn't like it. Really interesting. Yeah. Well, I it's just like it's like having um a 7-Eleven donut and you've never and you think it's the best yeah, thing, but you've never, never had, had a donut. you've never had <laughs> yeah, a donut, so you're like reference. this is the best right, thing, right? right? right. Wait until you go to Krispy Kreme and try it fresh. But I wonder yeah, what you're fresh off of the the belt. Like yeah. do you ever plan on seeing the animated Lion King, like the original Lion King? I I don't know. Yeah. It's not, a, it's not on my agenda. Yeah, uh, Olivia, it's time for a movie party. Let's have Olivia over for a movie party. Let's do Lion King. And we'll do Lion King? Yeah. Oh, and wow. I watched Harry Potter for the, for first, the first time. time. Those, those are magical little flicks. And, what do you like? Whoa. Well, I feel like I didn't really have a childhood, like a traditional childhood. Um, I did a lot of extracurricular things, and I never like went to the There's movies. There's no time for movies. There were no. My, my mom never. Your mom wasn't me. a movie person. She wasn't a movie person. My dad was a movie person. So your mom was a movie. My mom's person. a movie person. Yeah. So, what do you? What's like your favorite movie ever? Ooh. My favorite movie ever. Yeah. Um, I have a lot. But like, what what's are the some one? Of, that, what are some of like your favorite movies? Or how about this? What's one movie mm-hmm. from any part of your life? Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter how old or new it is, that you could watch it at any time and feel joy and happiness. Well, oh, I would. Um, okay, uh, 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 the one. I love The Hangover. Yeah, okay. I love That's, fun. Uh, That's Tropic great. Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder. Great. Love it. So good. Love it. Yeah, so and, good. Like I love 1917. Oh yeah. But I I can't wa- I can't watch it. Yeah, it was so funny. It was so funny. World War 1 was crazy. Um, it was just funny like naturally. Like shit was so lit back then. Um I can't watch Fucking 19 Trench Warfare. Yeah, you can't I, watch that all the time. I can't watch it all the time, but I love 1917. I loved Parasite. I love um there's um there's a there's a movie called In the Mood for Love. That one I love. I have not seen it but I've heard of it. What is it's it about? It's a it's a Wong Kar Wai film. It's an art house movie. <sighs> it's all about they like keep missing each other, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's Ooh, beautiful. I want to see it. It's beautiful. I know what you're it's, talking about. It's heartbreakingly yeah, beautiful. It's wow. amazing. Why and, do I know that? Um Weird. and I love the cinematographer. He's incredible. Wow. Yeah, you have to watch that. And then I love like old Hitchcock movies too. I was just talking to my nice. friend about it. My favorite Hitchcock film is called Vertigo. Yeah. It's so good. I can Wonderful. watch that anytime. Yeah. Well, that's great. I mean, you have it. So there's a diverse mix of depends. good movies in your life. It depends like how I'm feeling. You know? I love that. You know, I feel like, I don't know if it's like a millennial thing. I don't know what it is, but I meet a lot. I meet young people and they're like, eh, I don't really like movies. And it's really? like, really? And it's like, well, what what movies have you seen that you like though? And it's like, oh, Citizen Kane. And like, you know, the I've seen Airplane. And it's like, whoa. Okay. Yeah, you like movies. So you've seen art movies, which is good. I'm yeah. just happy that you've seen art movies. You've seen like you you you're not just looking at blockbuster like big tent no, pole no. movies. No, no. I think it's because when I was really I was in high school, my escape was coming to Hollywood and going to Amoeba. And yeah, oh, I love going to. Amoeba. I would drive from Arcadia to Hollywood nice. and just hang out at Amoeba and talk to the 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 movie nerds. Yeah, and they would they would you know, uh, introduced me to all these amazing films. Nice. And then I just 
Wow. I, that's uh, that's fascinating. It's, it, that's the Olivia. You're talking about the example of uh, passion that I that I've talked to Steve about. If you, I could watch Steve and Anthony Carboni, his friend, both super Star Wars uh, aficionados. Because I don't want to use the word nerd. You could say Star Wars nerd, but they they love it. And I'm a Star Wars Fairweather fan. I'll watch it and I'll enjoy it. And I know <laughs> enough about it to get by in a conversation. But I can just put my little chin on my, my open palms like this and just get comfortable and watch them mm. talk oh. about the deepest, nerdiest, I don't even I know that. what they're talking about corners of Star Wars because they enjoy talking about it. And because they enjoy talking about it and I feel their passion, I'm mm. vicariously living through it. It sounds like that's what you were doing mm-hmm. at Amoeba. Yep. That's yeah. exactly. And I, I would just, I because lo- they wanted to show me so much they're like this director did this and i was just so fascinated by that and then and getting being introduced to oh christopher guest oh no nice. okay best in show is a movie that yeah. i can put on any time and that's Wonderful. one of my favorite wow. movies wow much to respect a, to you olivia that's a fantastic comedy i want us it's to make so a good. christopher guest i know I oh do me it. too yeah. and so okay, uh, this in. is okay so after this podcast i have something that i want to t- Sh- share with you guys and I really want to make it and I'm trying to figure out how I can make it. Wow, but, shit, um, okay. But yeah, um, yeah, Christopher Guest. I love him so much. Yeah, he's the best. He's Have the you seen best. all of them? Have you seen all the Christopher Guest movies? I've seen Spinal Spinal Tap. Spinal Tap, Tap oh, yeah. So good. And raise, uh, was it Raising Arizona? Is no, that no, his no, movie? No, no, movie? no, no, no. No, but there's uh, there's uh, Waiting for Guffman. Like, waiting for Guffman. I need to see that one. Yeah, and then there's A Mighty Wind. No, I haven't seen that. Which I is need to see so it. good. I Yeah, like... Movie night. Movie That's night, also movie why night, I started night. studying at Groundlings too. So you know how we did that. Wait, I, are I'm you still, still there? Now? Yeah, I'm still there. Hell yeah, yeah, way to go! I'm still there, and That's um, great. I just love like character work like that. That's awesome. I love it so much. Do you feel like you're learning a lot? Yeah, and so I'm a part of a um, group now. Whoa! Yeah, Olivia, wow. we gotta go see her. No, 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 no. Our our coach keeps not showing up. <laughs> That's not a good coach. It's not, and and we're called Goof. And, oh, that's a great name. Uh, and they were all um, my classmates in my intermediate class. And um, yeah, it was. Wait, w- and I'm too scared to go to advance right now. So I'm practicing with the my groove troop. And, uh, <laughs> goof troop. <laughs> Wait, yeah. are we going to. What Do you. I mean, we want to see you. Oh, come on. Do you not want us to? or <laughs> no. okay. Well, I mean, our coach keeps not showing up, too. <laughs> right. Olivia, I get that. I know that feeling. When I go to comedy sports and I know my friends are coming, those are the worst nights. Oh, yeah. I mean, we can't. But don't can. you want your support? We can't perform yet. I mean, like I said, our coach does not show up. He literally cancels the day of. So we're looking for a new coach. Do you want to put him on black? No, don't put him on black. No, Wait, no he's such you, a nice guy. But will you ever want your friends to come yeah i would love my friends to come but at this point since you're we're not, not ready yet we're not ready yet and um yeah but those movies made me want to that's keep awesome. studying and, wow you know. livia Liv, Liv. you're on the right fucking track dude do you want to direct i feel like you look like a director right i don't now. know i'm also really indecisive i can't even decide what i want to eat for lunch so i feel like directing might be hard we'll start you... directing your lunch at first <laughs> so what's your dream job in the industry Oh, my dream job. Okay, so now. Or what's your dream job? Fuck the industry. My dream job is, well, does it? If, if it I wasn't, to be if I wasn't industry. an actor, if I wasn't in this entertainment business, I would want to be a teacher. Wow. But because I'm here, and I, you know, it's so interesting because years ago at Smosh, I think I had a different mindset. Now I, I'm starting my. I've recorded a bunch, ten episodes already for podcasts that I'm launching called fish cheeks and it's celebrating oh. and highlighting asian american stories wow and that's something that i'm so You're 10 deep already i'm 10 deep wow. when are you launching well i just signed the contract too with a company wow and so that, i remember we talked about that when i was still at smosh starting a podcast mm-hmm. but now i kind of have a vision and a uh, passion and that's highlighting my people and wow you know that's and, so cool wow yeah. you they're are an all amazing from arcadia person. <laughs> they're all from Arcadia. They, they're all fucking nerds that uh, went to UCLA. No, they're all people doing their thing and not caring about what. What's the format? Wow. Are you are you interviewing? Are you yeah, are you storytelling? What is it? I have guests on my show, and they're such interesting guests. And they're not all in. They're not all actors or or artists. Good. Some of them are. This one woman, she is a very business savvy. Um, makeup woman she's the head of development at nyx cosmetics Whoa. so talking to her about makeup and the business so side, yeah yeah oh. and just like people doing their own thing and really caring about the community and just i think that's what i needed growing up yeah. you know like i want i was looking for that hillary duff that lizzie mcguire you know but 
and so badly that I wanted to be an actor and be like her. And I wish I had somebody that you know can tell me their stories and what they did and how they got to that point. And you're going to be that, that for someone up and coming. Yeah, and that yeah. that's what that's I'm wonderful. really proud of. Wonderful. Yeah. Can we like? Are you able to say where it's going to be? Like, can you or start when like, it's prepping be? people for it? Yeah. So it's called fish cheeks because. Um, uh, in, in Asian culture, the, the cheeks of a fish, of a steamed fish, means abundance. And it's the oh. yummiest part of the fish. Wow. And, and um, yeah, and it's like the yummiest part. That's what that part. fish husband says to that fish wife. She's yeah. Like, mm, Give me that mm, fish, fish cheeks. Give me that fish cheeks. Mm. It's the yummiest part of you, baby. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah it's the most abundant part. And wow. that's what I want to give to people is abundance. And Do the, you have a time frame or like when yeah, you're going to so launch I it? I don't, okay, so I'm with a network called Himalaya. Nice. And, okay. um, and and uh, we're just I have to give them footage and they have to edit for me and all of that stuff. So I don't really know logistically what's but I just this know year. That, but yeah, it's this year. It's probably going to be pretty soon. Cool. And that's why, I've you know, I have a vault of all of these. I hope you're wow. doing the bulk drop where you give like three episodes out of the gate. Oh, can I do that? Yes, because that's what I hear is the way to get traction is don't do one. Okay. Give them like a good old. Oh, uh, good. Give them a good full hearty oh. helping. Give them like three or four out of the something, gate. Yeah. Something to chew so on. So they can dive in and it'll help the analytics. It Great. Can... Okay, that's good to know. Also, please come back when, I mean, not to. I mean, Are you ending this podcast? No, no, it sounds like I'm wrapping it up, but I'm not. But I'm please so come back. Come back when you, <laughs> when you're when you're launching it. I would or, love to promote yeah. so you can this. promote it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. guys, like I, this is like what I've been passionate about. I don't know. I haven't felt like this in a really long time. I don't know. Wow, I also you're just love... feeling really passionate and excited. Yeah, because my guests, they're also my friends. And they have, you know, Phil Wong from Wong Fu. Mm -hmm. He was on it and he was talking about the beginning days of YouTube. Wow. Cool. Ooh, those are what the wild, wild west. And, yeah. And, you know, I'm learning all these new things from their perspective. And it's just, I'm also just a very fucking nosy person. <laughs> so I'm just always like asking for answers. Like, how do they do That's this? That's what people want. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just curious. So gonna, hopefully other people We're going to put a positive spin on that statement. You're a curious person. Yeah. That's what she is. I am. Uh, yes. Inquisitive. I am. I'm yes. very inquisitive. What does that mean again? <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, that's I'm, a good joke. I love it. I, yeah. I, yeah. It's just, that's something something that I'm like really passionate uh, about. Remind wow. us when it drops yeah. to update the link in this here podcast oh, and we'll put it really? up at the Thank top. you. So in oh. your, in your, so I mean this thing could really blow up and be a thing and then you've got like this podcast, like is that a, a, a direction that you see yourself going in as being a podcaster? Not, well, because I'm doing, that's like my passion project and there's also other passion projects like I want to write and you know, I have. I feel like I have a very weird voice. It's spinning it unique. Okay, nice. What does that mean again? Inquisitive. <laughs> I just. I don't know. I have. I love comedy so much, and I love Christopher Guest, and there. I want to follow that format, and I just love mockumentaries, and yeah, I, like so that's you make some, some kind of. I want to make something like that wow. too. Wow, this is, uh, I think our, all yeah. our dreams are aligned. And let's all make something together. Yes, that's... And, um, uh, here's a, a thought that I just had in that. It's like we all, because I want to do that too. And then we all get stuck into thinking like if Christopher Guest is your is the box in which, in which you're trying to create, you're like, I got to create this hour and a half long movie. That's what Christopher, it's this big long story. It's got first, second, and third arc. Screw that. Start with a five minute yeah. documentary. Yeah. That's what, you know, Gus so, Johnson style. Exactly. So, so when we, when Defy collapsed. What? Me, I know. What? I know. He wasn't what? meant to find out this. Oh, way. No. I know. It's really sad. Why are there um, so many people there? But he don't worry, Louise, the security guard still is there. <laughs> <laughs> He's still there protecting, manning down the Wonderful. floor. Wonderful. Best news ever. Yeah. I know. He was a sweetie. Is, he was a sweetie. Um, when, when Defy. Um, died what? We, yeah louise is still there he's doing oh, great good louise is a sweet uh me keith noah we're in the car we're like dude what if we just like started like because we have no jobs now what if we just put on a community play and we fucking were these characters oh, and just hired people and we just filmed it oh my god and there were all these wacky characters trying to put on a shakespearean play oh wow or like, or, but it's not about the actual it's not about the what they're doing it's the characters it's the behind the scenes it's the behind the scenes doing. of the characters that are just so fun but just like we're not doing that but the, there's like thinking about that like yeah. makes my blood um, horny you gotta do it <laughs> You uh, gotta do it. Yeah. So yeah. Makes my blood horny. I mean, yeah. when SourceFed ended yeah. and Joe and and all my friends were gone and dispersed into their own world. What? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Don't worry, Lu- Luis is still there, the security okay, guard. What does that mean? No, uh, but we. Uh, <laughs> that's very funny. I just was like, I couldn't think of a world where I didn't want, I mean, I just wanted to work with my friends yeah. again, and I just thought about it a lot, and I t- met with my friends a lot, and was like, what if we did this, what if we did this, what yeah. if we did this, and then, yeah. uh, you know, and then we fucking did it, finally, but it took way too long, and I'm sad it took way too long, so don't be sad, and that it might take too long, just do it. Yeah, just that's, ju- what, just that's, do it. that's yeah. what I'm trying to figure out, is just like, just Everything that I'm so passionate about, comedy-wise, just go and make it, and then yeah. figure it out. Because, you know, yeah. And I have so many, con- I have so many friends that would be so down to just make shit with me. And I know people in my goof troop that would just want to do, do that it. Too. Pull up a calendar. You're fucking me up with the goof troop every time. Just pull up a calendar <laughs> and just go like maybe a month into the future. Pick a date yeah. and go. By this date, there will be a pilot episode yeah. of this thing, or by this date, there will be this or whatever. Yeah. But set these little goals and do it. Yeah, I agree. I that's that's you know. And, and, you know, I'm also, me and my boyfriend, we're um, making a food show because we fucking love food. Yeah. And, and you know, he's Jewish. I'm Chinese, you know. <laughs> wow. You know? What a fusion. Horny, you yeah. know, it's it's good. <laughs> um, so we love food. I just have all these things that I just, I'm just trying to just make shit that I'm passionate about. Podcast, funny, mockumentary stuff, and food. It's love that. Just, wow. Look at you. I don't yeah. know, man. I'm, the dream. I see a shining light in a in a coat over here who's shooting for the stars oh. and following her dreams What's that? and what does that mean? and pursuing your passions mm-hmm. yeah well and I don't know. i'm inspired and i'm filled with love and i'm filled with joy and i'm filled with such a uh, stop, a, a stop. positive no, no, i see I nothing but a beautiful path for you oh i think God. you just you've got the you are truly your doing hair it. looks nice your shoes are rocking yeah. you sound like a uh, a psychic <laughs> <laughs> i see <laughs> i see a path well, um, let me see your hand oh well let's not look at that line that one's a little foreboding mm, when i take your hand in mine mm, basically i see what do you see what do you see i see clear you see clear. You see yes, it. yes, I see like clear. Straight through that? it, like I see right through it. What does that mean? Yeah, yeah. Go deeper. Mm-hmm. I say I don't have the capacity to know what you're I saying. I know, but it, you know, I just this is what I do. Like forty three dollars. <laughs> that was good. Cash good. app, Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would. No money. Yes, <laughs> yes. Small uh, but children. yeah, I'm I'm very excited for you, and I'm really I'm really um, I'm proud of you. you really, know, I think you're doing the right thing. I, yeah. I I you know there is a lot of talking. You know, but doing the actual physical thing is not easy, and I think a lot of times there's a lot of talking, a lot of ideas in this fucking town. Just don't and let um don't let time slip away from you. You're young. You're full of life. Forty seven years old. Yeah, oh, and you close. look we great for forty three. Mm-hmm. But you've got plenty of life ahead. Asian of you. don't raisin. Don't. Uh, <laughs> Would you just say Asian don't wait raisin? Asian don't yeah. raisin. I've Asian never don't raisin. heard that. That's wow. great. I never, I never heard that. Um, but I'm so proud of you. And uh, white don't bite. I just want to see success. They bite. Of- okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're they crazy. Do. Oh, they bite. Shit. Okay. Well, I was attacked yesterday. You guys keep by talking. What? I'll think of another rhyme. A white man. Were you attacked by white man? I wasn't really attacked. I was just coming out of the UPS store, and I was there was I was filming on my phone, just myself talking to it. a person came behind me, and I was like, "Fuck you, crazy bitch." No. And way. then and then I was like, "Oh my god, oh my god!" And then I ran to my car and I was screaming. Wait, and then, really? Yeah. Just... And then he was chasing me with the skateboard. And then I was like, oh my God, oh. And then he took a photo of my license plate. And then luckily there were two bystanders and they were just like, oh, you should call the cops. You just took a photo of your license plate. I was like, what is happening? And then he's there and he was like, he's like, stalking is a felony, you crazy bitch. I was like, oh, he's oh like, he I got- thought you were filming him? That must have. And then, and then I was like, he's like, I'm pressing charges on you. I have a photo of your license plate. Look, Elliot gets uh, upset at the craziest <laughs> thing. So will you apologize on behalf of Elliot? What the fuck happened? I don't know. Where? Are Santa you Monica. okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, I thought it was hilarious. Was it a, like a young person? Yeah, yeah. He was clearly like on drugs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, was yeah. it a... Oh, okay. So yeah. it was an unwell Ooh. person. Unwell person. With yeah. a skateboard okay. weapon. Yeah. Jesus. Wow. Apparently, this my same goodness. guy, because my friends like had me describe him to, to them, and apparently this guy a couple weeks ago screamed at a baby and threw his skateboard at a car. Well, he must be stopped. He, well, I mean, I called the police, and they they said they're they like, had oh, nothing. they're like Elliot they're Morgan. Like, they're like, oh, we can do. Elliot Morgan. You <laughs> yeah, know, it's that guy. That's just Elliot Morgan. He was supposed to be in Hawaii right now, but yeah, yeah. he's a liar. He's yeah. he's a Hawaii and a skateboarder. <gasps> 
That was him. That was him. He drew up some fake <laughs> tattoos. Is that a bolo tie? Good for you. That is a bolo tie. Um, all right. Well, Good listen. Job. Let's wrap this up because we want to get you to where you're going. I'm just going to um, a hair appointment. I'm oh. just getting my hair oh. re-dyed back to my color. What's your color? Um, dark brown. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is this your natural? What color like, is that now? This is like, well, I got a free um, a hair thing. Somebody was like, hey, can I do your hair free? And I'm like, of course. Fuck yeah, you can. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And then. And then That's um, bold. Well, yeah, and all my friends were going there, and they're like, it's for free. I'm like, okay. And then it's just too light, you know. I want to go back to my natural color. Yeah, good for you. Mm, I get that. Well, um, listen, Olivia, what a fucking pleasure to have you here. Oh, um, stop. And we did talk about when we saw each other in 1917 about how we should have you in the office. Yes, I would love to come. Like, so have you, me. I know where you guys live. Yeah, you've oh. you've been. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. So please, please. We'd love to just continue having you around and uh, doing cool I, shit with you. If and, you guys uh, want to know their um, address, it's, it's 1917. Please, I'll write it down. Stop 1917 it. again, it. 17. <laughs> Olivia, I, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17. I don't remember what's in this, but do you... So back in the day, I started doing... You just reminded me. Dump, okay, Dump Nasty, the stupid little rapper yeah, yeah, guy yeah, I yeah. do. Uh-huh. Do you remember when I made China Rich Elevator Daddy? No. What? Oh, I remember this. I don't remember this. China Rich Elevator Daddy was based off of a conversation that spurned from you, and you were talking to the boys at Smosh, and there was a phrase that happened that just made me, uh, I think I heard it. What are you, hungry Uh, It inspired me, but anyways, the, the conversation went around to like, if you have an elevator in your house in China, that means you're a wealthy man. Yes. Okay, so okay, I'm not crazy. I heard that. I mean, elevator anywhere in any anywhere. House. But yeah. like you, in the conversation, they just made a huge point that if you have an elevator in China in your house, you're like super wealthy, like you're a big deal. So I went off and I made a song called "China Rich Elevator Daddy." Oh my based god! Off of a conversation. Wait, can I? With you. you have it right now? I'm gonna play oh, it. Oh, I can't wait. I don't remember what's in it. Oh, okay. So it could be all racist. All. Uh, mm-hmm. There's no racism because I would have shared it with you guys back then. But I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna play it. We'll see. I only keep. I don't. My racism is behind doors. Okay, closed doors. Um, I'm mm. gonna play this mm. <laughs> and let's see what it is. It's called China Rich. Hell yeah. Elevator Daddy. <clears throat> is that on TikTok? Mm-mm. Rap chat. <laughs> I'm China rich, bitch, rock bottom, never had me worth, always going up because I'm an elevator daddy. Looking for your girl? Well, I probably had her in. Shanghai up in my spot when I dropped some Mandarin. My game is like my crib. It's got multiple levels, and I got a wonka vader because my Willie's really special. If you missed it, I said Willie, and that's just a turn of phrase. I'm talking about my dick, and it's China thick for days. <laughs> elevators that's in the great. House, elevators to the stars, elevators in the pool, elevators in my cars. I got so many Vaders that I need a Vader caddy that I pay with elevators because I'm an elevator daddy. Don't want your pounds or dollars. Fuck your heroes. Fuck your yen. Fuck your pesos, rupees, rubles. Then go fuck yourself again because you fucked yourself the first time on the day that you were born because you were born as you. You fucked down on the bottom floor and you got no elevator because you're a bottom dwelling bitch. I laugh at you from way up high because I'm China rich. <laughs> <laughs> That's really China good. rich. China, you should yeah. make. Oh my god, China rich should be a song. Was that bad? No, it's great. That was okay, right? Was I that can't great? believe you made a rap, and you're also. I can't believe you have rap chat. What is that? <laughs> I've never heard of it either. Is rap- this like a community of yeah? Rappers? Rap chat is where uh, Dump Nasty was born, and where he should have stayed. Is no, that no, we're is that okay. There's nothing bad in that. No, right? I don't think there's anything no. bad about that. No, too many fucks and bitches. I mean, I think you should collaborate with 88 Rising and maybe. I don't know sell who that them. is. I'm an old man. Oh my god, 88 Rising is like the new Asian music group. I don't think they'd have me. <laughs> maybe you could be a ghostwriter. Oh, that's good. Maybe you should tr- you should try to sell that track to them. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they'd want it. Yeah, just yeah. be like, here you go. Because from an Asian man's perspective, you were Asian at one point in your long. Yeah, life. maybe he oh. lived another life. You you, you know, um, past See, life regression. One. We're all just we are the same. You, we are. We're all from the same horny I, blood. Yeah, horny blood, dude. My, my blood gets horny. You gotta you get better. horny. My rap name is Dump Nasty. Yours is Horny, horny blood. blood. Or Blood Horny. <laughs> I'm horny Blood. Blood Horny Baby. Ooh, Lil XXX. Horny blood. <laughs> Lil Horny Blood. <laughs> Lil Horny Blood. That's me. Wait, what's Alana's rap name? Oh, uh, White Mischief. <laughs> White Mischief. <laughs> That's scary. What's yeah. yours? What's your eye? What's uh, I like MC17. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Just because it's like, you know, MC17 like, yeah. is like a rating for movies when it's like pornographic. Oh, I thought that was like a gang. 
NC seventeen. Wait, M S M M S Paint. M S G. No, there is there's multiple a, sclerosis. No, there's a <laughs> little there's scl- a sclerosis. Called, um, little sclerosis. Little sclerosis. <laughs> little skexy. There's a uh, there's a gang. Is it really called, called MC17? What like, the fuck? No, there's like, you know, it's like a gang in prison too. Called MC17? No, it's called something 17 or MS5 oh. or M- <laughs> MP4. MP3. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> DHL? I don't fucking H264. know. H264. Oh. HMOPPO. Did you get us all in trouble with that gang? Are we all going to die now? Not- We're going to get doxxed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know either. But I do know that you're a lovely woman, and I Thank really you. appreciate you Thanks coming here you and, and giving us your time. Um, do you want to plug anything really quick? Uh, a plug? I don't know. Like you could do it, like your Instagram or your Twitter um, or yeah. anything you want people to find you on. Find or... me um, on Instagram. It's at the Rock. Um, and <laughs> watch me. I appreciate that so much. Uh, I love how not confident in that joke you were. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. follow me at the rock. <laughs> it reminds me of like uh, if you ever you work with Flula. We've all worked yeah. with Flula. Yeah. Whenever you're like, dude, what do you want to plug? He's always just like, find me outside. <laughs> <laughs> That's he great. That's real. Good him. for him. Yeah, he's the best. And now he's I all buff him. and in the just... freaking DC universe. Oh, oh my God! Wait, he's, is he still he... German? Yeah. yeah. In the DC universe? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. He oh, must be. I wonder. I don't know. Yeah, he must be. I haven't seen the flick. But he's, he's big now. How did he get that role? Did he audition or were they like... I mean, I think when you're the most talented man on the planet, eventually you're going to you be in so movies. Thank you so much. Thank you. He also was in Pitch Perfect 2. Yeah. And yeah. I think also 3. Wow. Yeah, maybe. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's just and on Conan a whole bunch. Yeah. He's yeah. in that whole group now. He's just a good dude. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a, a good, good dude. dude. I've he seen him at Pilates it. before. You've wow. seen him at Pilates? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Did you check him out? Um, I pretended that I didn't know him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching the Valley Cast. <laughs> thanks, Lula doesn't listen, listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I felt awkward to, oh, to okay. say anything. Yeah. You know, it is weird to run into someone. A at celebrity, the gym. you know. Yeah. You, he was on a show with you where you faked a sleepover. I know. And <laughs> In pajamas. I know, and I don't want to ever. I'll remind him before you don't worry. No, no, please don't. Anyways, go go I follow came up me, guys. With that show. At, <laughs> um, at the Rock, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. All right, Olivia. Well, thank you for coming, yeah. and thank you guys for listening. And uh, uh, we'll get you in more. We'll do a little sketch with you, and we'll get you on your show, cat. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Love that. I'll All be right. a cat. All right, take care, everybody. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. Where's the cat?